Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Welcome to my show. You know, during any downturn, you have to get creative. And today we're going to be talking about bartering. Joining us to talk about that, Jeff Weaver with iTex in North Texas. Thanks for being on the hey show. Hey, Jeff. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. Now, bartering, when we think about bartering, that's something that's been around since the caveman. Yeah, I mean, sure. They were trading wheels for oxen. Yeah. And, and is bartering making a comeback? Barter is making a comeback because when cash tightens up a little bit, people are looking for ways to get stuff without using the cash that they don't have to begin with. So what you, you were telling me off camera that uh, in the United States, bartering became cool as, as uh, uh, recently as the 60s. Yeah, yeah. A company called BXI started the industry in 1960. We came around in 1982 when the federal government put laws in place about how a barter exchange would work. Well, you have a great video on your website, and uh, we're going to roll that right now. Jeff Weaver, president of ITEX in North Texas, serving hundreds of small business clients in DFW and East Texas. We're part of the ITEX family of over 80 offices, serving 20,000 small business owners just like you that use the age-old concept of barter as a way to generate new customers and conserve cash all using the iTex virtual currency. So here's a question. If you need a car repair, a business video, web design, or just have to go to the dentist and it was going to cost $1,000, what would you rather do? Write a check or trade $1,000 of your goods and services? Most small business owners would rather trade as a way to save cash. But here's the problem. Finding someone to do what you need when you need it, that wants your services, and at equal value. That's where we come in. ITEX has a network of companies that transact amongst each other using the ITEX virtual currency. Sell what you want, when you want, at full retail price. As you make these new sales, you earn ITEX dollars. You can then use them with any of the other businesses in the network. You sell more services, and you can serve your cash. In today's competitive environment, businesses need every possible option. ITEX is truly a great option to have available. So that's ITEX in a nutshell. I'm a small business owner with a wife, a mortgage, and two daughters, and a great network of companies you can sell to and buy from using ITEX dollars instead of your precious cash. I'd like to work for you, and I hope you'll let me. Visit us nationally at www.itex.com or locally at www.b2bvirtualcurrency.com. Thanks for your time, and I wish your business success. Jeff, you did a great job on that video, just kind of walking us through the process. You were telling me uh, on the way up to the studios that uh, your printer actually uh, did a deal. Yeah, he did, uh, did a really big deal. So he sells printing and collects iTex dollars for that, and it builds up in his iTex bank-like account. And he was able to buy a $16,000 piece of equipment for his print shop without using cash. Wow. Now, he had to pay sales tax and shipping in cash, but as far as the equipment went, that was all iTex dollars. So is there a membership fee? Do people join your community? How does that work? There is. So um, there's a setup and enrollment fee of $295. Mm -hmm. Then we're a franchise. So the way that corporate gets paid is what they call an association fee. That's $20 cash and 10 trade dollars each four-week accounting cycle. 
The way that I get paid is a broker fee, uh, basically a referral fee. Yes. It's 12%, but I collect it 6% when you sell and 6% when you buy because it just makes it easier on our clients. Got it. So kind of give me an example if, uh, if uh, like, I, I wanted an anchor desk like this. Mm -hmm. Do I come to your site and say, I need an anchor desk? <laughs> yeah, so there's several different ways. You can search nationally. Mm -hmm. You can search locally on the website, or you can lean into me. Um, I have several different uh, furnishing companies that we can go to and see if they have something available that they could sell with iTex because iTex is about selling your excess capacity, whether it's inventory or time or empty chairs or tables. And I, and I might pay for the anchor desk with uh, free publicity, getting them on the news or something like that? Is that exactly. Would that they would pay you for your service using iTex dollars. Now you have iTex dollars to spend. Just like cash. Yeah. Does it help to have it uniform the way you, you uh, have it? I mean, in terms of just an informal barter, uh, sometimes some, a person feels like they've been cheated or they lost out. Every time I hear stories of people that say they don't want to do barter because they got the short end of the stick in what I call a direct trade, there's four major problems with a direct trade. First is that the haves and wants don't match. Like if you wanted a new anchor desk, we got to one, find somebody that has one, and two, that they want your service. Then the values never line up. So somebody's going to be putting cash into the deal. And then the timing sometimes doesn't line up. Like, for instance, they deliver the desk, but maybe you haven't provided your service yet. What happens if something happens? And then the fourth problem is that people never document those transactions. So if you're dealing with a $10,000 transaction and things go sideways, you have no recourse. But if you document it, you do. So modern barter takes all of that out of the equation. That's brilliant. And so you expect the, uh, the barter business to grow here in the next few months? We're already seeing more people inquiring uh, because as, as cash was flowing so easily, people were just ready to use their cash and they had it. But as things have tightened up now with less sales, so they need new sales, we'll bring that to them. Then they don't have the cash to buy things. They can use their trade dollars instead. Wow. Jeff, you've been a, a great guest. We're going to put your website up so people can get, get in touch and join your community. Uh, there it is, dfwitex.com is your website. Is, um, yep. is that right? Yep. Perfect. Well, thank you for so much for being on the Thanks. show. Thanks. It was great. Fist bump. All right. <laughs> All right. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.